All right, we got a missile here that's fired vertically up into the air above the ground as a function time of t and s uh, is given by the following equation. So when will the missile hit the ground? And then we want to know when the missile is 1,000 feet above. So first part, part A, is going to be we're going to set um, the gr so ground distance s ground equal to 0. So it's going to have an initial time probably a 0 or not zero, but a negative value. But then we'll have um, we'll have a further value. So uh, opposite of b, so negative five hundred plus or minus square root of b squared. Five hundred squared minus four times negative sixteen four ac times three hundred. Um, all over two times a, which is two times negative thirty two or negative sixteen. So, all right, so what we end up with when things are simplified is we get T is equal to, um, well, okay, so we get T is equal to 125 plus or minus 5 root 673 over um, 8, but that's not quite the right, right result, um, which is negative 0 0.5889, but that's not it. That's that, the reason it's negative because we have a starting point of 300 feet, otherwise it'd be zero, but it's actually equal to 31 point, depending on how far you want to go, but we'll round it to just two decimal places, uh, eight, four seconds. Okay, that's part A. Um, part B is going to be equal to uh, one's at a thousand feet above ground. Exact same setup, except you just set it uh, zero instead of zero. It's a thousand, and um, basically, here's what's going to happen: we get negative seven hundred <laughs> plus five hundred t minus sixteen t squared. And because it starts at three hundred feet, what we end up getting here. I'm not going to write out the quadratic formula, but we get T, it, it's going to equal that at approximately 1.47 seconds and 29.8 seconds. And that's it. Alrighty. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.